Connor asked, which of the roster building strategies will be more successful in the long term? Recruit and develop or transfer portal? Basically, the Dabo Swinney approach versus the Lane Kiffin approach from Starkville, Mississippi. There's an interesting comparison here. There's also an interesting point that has to be made. Sure, you've got Lane Kiffin, who is dipped heavily into the transfer portal, and you've got Dabo Swinney, who really doesn't want much to do with the transfer portal. They're all about recruiting and developing. It's important to remember, at one place, they get to choose their approach. At the other place, they don't. Dabo Swinney at Clemson is so well-resourced and so well-positioned, they can choose any approach they want. So can Georgia, so can Ohio State, so can USC, so can Alabama. Ole Miss can't do that. Ole Miss does not get to do whatever they want to do. Now, I'm not saying they don't literally get to choose their approach. I'm saying if they want to compete at a reasonably high level, Ole Miss doesn't get to say, all right, how's Bama doing it? We'll just do it the exact same as them. How's, how's Kirby doing it? We'll do it the exact same as them. Gap's too big. The have and have not gap is too big in this sport. And Ole Miss, while they're not a poverty program, they are not in the haves tier that the Bamas and Georgias of the world are. And so they have to go about things a different way. Clemson does not have to do that. They choose to do that. Ole Miss has to do it. And so with that, you got to credit Lane Kiffin. you got to credit Ole Miss for doing the same thing to a degree that Chip Kelly's realized he can do. Ironically, in the transfer rankings this past cycle, so far, Ole Miss is six and UCLA seven. And those are the two programs I'm looking at right now as being kind of comparable West Coast to closer to the East Coast, realizing we're not going to recruit in the top five. And that's a waste of time to think we will. But what we can do is we can present ourselves to be a viable, attractive option in the transfer market. Because as we've seen many times now, the criteria and the priorities for a transfer student are a lot different than a high school student. As for what will work long term, I would always lean towards recruiting and developing working as a theory long term. Um, but at the same time, what, what do you really do? Like, what's your alternative? Lane Kiffin's doing what he has to do. And they, they land kids. They just got Suntareen Perkins. That's one of the best linebackers in this class. So like I said, Ole Miss is not a poverty program. It sounds like I'm painting them that way. They're not a poverty program, but they're also, they're not going to recruit heads up against uh, the top five brands in college football. And Lane Kiffin knows that. And, and credit him for knowing it to the point where he said, we got to do something different. And so they've done a little something different there. But, I mean, I don't think there's a substitute for recruiting and developing your guys. Kirby won the national title last year and, and found any microphone he could to remind you, we didn't go in the transfer portal a single time this past cycle. They will, they do, but uh, there's a lot of pride to be taken in not having to have gone that route. There's no shame in going that route, but there is added pride to be taken in not having to go that route. Because ultimately, a lot of coaches look at having to use the portal as having to fill a mistake that you made. Either a misevaluation or not being able to keep a guy on campus. Sometimes that is your fault. Sometimes it's out of your control. But I, um, yeah, I, I, look, I'm interested to see what Clemson is this year. It's not a Clemson prediction segment, but it's going to be that a lot of weight is going to be put into their result this year as it relates to whether Dabo's approach makes sense or not.